The ANC, in collaboration with the Progressive Business Forum, is hosting a presidential gala dinner tonight. The gala dinner is part of a build-up towards the party's sixth national policy conference, which kicks off tomorrow in Nazrek in southern Johannesburg. We now cross live to SABC News political editor Mzwandile Mbeje, who's attending the event. Mzwai, welcome to you. Is there any sort of buzz yet? Well, <laughs> except maybe uh, the bright lights uh, that keep uh, blinding us sometimes. Uh, as you can see, the stage is already set uh, there, Francis, uh, for that event we've just introduced. Um, we expect that it will officially kick off at around 7 o'clock. So right now is mainly registration, and then after the registration, then it will be uh, then the guests will start uh, arriving and of course uh, they come in their order so we expect the NEC members to just come just before um, 7 o'clock and then obviously the president uh, if everything is uh, running according to what has been given as a time uh, he will be here uh, Francis at 5 to 7 and then the program will begin uh, of the ANC that is to raise funds. Talking about raising funds, uh, there were threats from staffers, uh, ANC staffers, who say they have not been paid uh, for at least two months. Have you seen them? Oh yes. In fact, as I'm standing right here uh, outside, about uh, maybe 500 meters from here, some of the staff members are outside carrying placards, basically saying uh, they have not been paid and this is not a new story uh, Francis we know it's been happening quite a number of times um, uh, where the ANC has really not been able to pay its staff in fact as early as Monday they did pick it uh, to say um, they were actually threatening that uh, they may not take part in this but somehow I guess uh, there were some of those uh, negotiations so they were able to be part of uh, uh, the events leading up to this but what they decided to do is that this is an opportune moment for them to be able to express uh, their unhappiness. And I guess uh, for the ANC, an event of this nature is very important because those people out there are hoping to benefit. Um, because at the end of the day, it's about money. So you do the work, but at the end of the day, you are not rewarded. So clearly, uh, you can feel even for their families because uh, these are people who are supposed to take care of, um, uh, of a number of families. So if they continue to do work and uh, they are not rewarded for it, clearly no one will take that lightly. They decided to come here where they know the eyes of the country are here to show their unhappiness, to say that story that has been keeping on going on to say they are not being paid is indeed true. Some of our colleagues are actually with them outside there. Kenny Mapanga is there with them outside where she's been speaking to them and then they've been saying they are very, very unhappy at the turn of events. It looks like a very peaceful, uh, smallish demonstration right now. So, so this event goes ahead and like you say, it's about raising funds. Maybe it'll actually alleviate the, the problem a little bit that the ANC has. Uh, any idea of, of prices? Uh, we know it's always been sort of prime position to sit at the, the table of the president. I mean, how important is this event for the party in terms of fundraising? Well, it's, it's very, very important um, because, remember, the party, I mean, outside of the party paying its staff, but the party has been struggling, um, Francis. In fact, we know right now uh, they've, they've got an order against them that uh, they need to pay 100 million. Otherwise, uh, Litulu House, their headquarters, could be attached. So clearly, every opportunity that the party gets to raise funds, it will definitely uh, use it. So, of course, um, uh, the, the, the tables are not the same, um, so there would be a number of uh, 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 contributions. As much as um, we expect uh, people to come in um, and, and, and pledge funds, I can tell you there are also those, uh, remember, there are those who don't want to be known, those who probably will, behind the scenes, also try to help the ANC to say, we know you are struggling, uh, you know we are part of this, but we don't want to be known, somehow we will contribute. But in this event, I think it's those who are very easy to be seen, to be associated with the governing party. And then, um, so they'll just uh, be here and uh, 
depending on where they're sitting, so the prices uh, range <laughs> in, that, uh, in that order. Obviously, if you're sitting next to the president, uh, it, the price is a bit higher. Of course, next to the minister, uh, it's a bit lower. So all of those things uh, are taken into account because they want to raise the funds for the governing party. Yeah, we, we want exact price tags, uh, please, in future, Mzwai, if, if you can get hold of those. What is the president <laughs> expected to say? I mean, the discussion documents uh, that will uh, start to be looked at tomorrow talk about this as a very momentous time for the party uh, facing various crises, uh, a lack of support at the polls. And of course, it's all about the president's leadership. Will that be consolidated or not in the run-up to the huge national conference? in December. Um, will he go into those sort of lofty, heavy issues tonight or keep it light? Well, um, we know this is the policy conference where they are expected to really look and review some of the policies that they've put in place, um, I mean, over the past five years. In fact, uh, we already know that uh, as much as there are so many issues that are affecting the country, but somehow there has been this one, uh, Francis, that has just stood out, the step aside uh, rule. So I can tell you, um, it's not the only policy position that will be discussed here, but somehow it seems to have stolen the show. So these are the issues that the president will raise. Uh, with these business people here to say, on, in fact, I don't see him speaking about the issue of step aside here, but of course in a broader context when the, the gathering sits, I think the ANC members will definitely raise it. But I think what he will do here, he will basically implore um, the, these business people to say, I know we are going through very difficult times as the country, but we are trying to change uh, the quality, we are trying to effect certain economic reforms, we are trying to remove some of the red tapes so that we are able to breathe life into the economy. So he will then implore them to be part of this, to be able to inject uh, the, the, the money into the governing party so that it will be easier for them to go around and, uh, and, 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 and canvas some of those policies. So clearly, uh, the, the, the delegates who will be here, uh, who will start registering from tomorrow, will obviously have that in mind but this is a political gathering francis as you have said i can tell you one of the hottest political issues right now in the governing party is that of the step aside right. as they meet here on the anc policy conference the secretary general of the party is suspended because of that a number of other people have had to be suspended or are not able to contest positions because of the step aside rule so there's been talk in a number of provinces to say uh, they are not happy with the manner in which it's being implemented for example yeah. kzn had a provincial conference uh, this past weekend they took a resolution to say it must be scrapped completely mpumalanga in their provincial general council similar resolution uh, Limbobo, they are basically saying we want it refined. What refines means is something yeah. else, but I can tell you right. in that refining, perhaps they mean scrapping. All right, so, so the big uh, elephant in the room, but like you say, talking to business people uh, tonight, uh, saying how important these policy decisions are. Thank you very much, Mzwandile Mbeje at NASREC. Uh, he is our political editor attending that event, and we will take uh, the ANC president's address live a little later on.